guys, hello, welcome back to the channel, the Stella Conley channel. Welcome to 2024. These are the items in 2024 that I am going to try, my hardest, try my hardest, not to purchase, not to be suckered into. I'm always suckered into these limited editions, limited releases, or if you don't buy it now, it's gonna be gone, or everybody else is buying it, so you have to buy it too. No. No, not this year. This year's different. It's not gonna happen. Number one thing in 2024 that I will absolutely not be buying is a Birkin. And I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on the entire Birkin process. But basically, if you are a luxury handbag fanatic, admirer, lover, you know the Birkin. It is iconic. It is classic. It is the top of the food chain. I feel like it's just a bag that everybody wants. Everybody thinks they want. I don't know, have we been brainwashed? <laughs> Basically started my Birkin journey years ago in New York City. I went into a store, I got paired with a sales associate, I bought a bunch of stuff, I went back a few months later, I bought more stuff, and then unfortunately I moved from New York City and moved to Washington DC. Had to literally, literally start from scratch, regardless. I still, I still bought more things. I mean, like this is a pair of earrings that are brand new, are still in the box. And actually, I forgot I had these when I was gonna make this video. I went to go look for all the Hermes stuff that I purchased over the years. I should wear these earrings. They're actually really pretty. And I found this little tray that I actually have this one in the gold and I really love it. And I don't remember why I bought the silver. I think I just thought, well, I have it in gold, I like it. Might as well buy the silver. It's another item that I am buying to add to my profile. This is a scarf that, I don't know, this scarf, it is beautiful, but it's just, I don't know. I, it's just, I just bought, I don't know. Do I wear scarves? Like where do I wear scarves to? I'm not that fancy. But that's the thing. You have to buy all of these items to build your profile up and then maybe, maybe you get offered the chance to purchase a red Birkin with you know silver hardware and in, in a leather that you don't even want. And if you say no, you'll never be offered another one again. And if you say yes, you've bought this really expensive purse that isn't quite perfect. It's just, it's almost, it's a beautiful bag, but it's not exactly what you wanted. I just think going into 2024, I'm just not going to I'm, I don't want to say play the game, but I'm just not going to do that. I, and, and honestly, if it was like a perfect world, I would be able to just walk into Hermes and say, hi, hello, I'm here to purchase a Birkin bag. I know you guys don't have them here. I know they take a long time to make, but I would like to order one. I'd like, you know, the black or the gold leather. I would like the gold hardware. I would like this size and, you know, just call me when it is ready. I would feel so much more appreciated from the brand. I have the opportunity to go in and purchase it. I don't have to wait four or five years and purchase all of this like random stuff to be given maybe, maybe down the road an opportunity to purchase something that isn't even what I want. And there are a lot of really good uh, pre-loved Birkin handbags, Birkin's Kelly's, Hermes bags that are on the pre-loved market and Fashion File has, you know, one of the best reputations and I have considered purchasing on Fashion File. I have friends that have purchased on them and are obsessed with their bags and they got exactly what they wanted. They got it when they wanted it. Uh, granted, they had to pay like double, but they got what they wanted and I'm just not sure I'm ready to do that. I'm just not sure that I want to go there. Yeah, so in 2024, number one thing most passionate about that I will not be buying is a Birkin. Next item I will not be buying in 2024 are small leather goods. Now, I love small leather goods. And when I told my husband I was filming this video and this was on my list, he's like, that's on your list every year and you always buy more of these small little leather things. I laughed and I was like, you know what? You're so right, but I am going to try. My absolute hardest this year not to do it. I do love these small leather goods. I mean, they are so cute. They are so beautiful. They are useful. I do use these in my bags, but I just think like, this one, just, just an example here. This one right here, this is the Louboutin mini pochette accessories. 
I bought this several years ago for like $310. This now, this little guy here is literally $745. I just don't know if that price, like if you want to buy one of these and you buy like a Chanel card case, which the price has gone up, this is now $700 you know, and this is just a little tiny card case, $700, $745, $1,400, dollars $1 for these two. That is the price of a handbag. If you already have some of these items, you don't need to buy more. Like literally, like these two things here, this is the small Chanel cosmetic case and you know, the small uh, Pachette accessories. They're literally like the same size. Uh, I, do did I really need two of these? I, I don't think so. I mean, I do love this. This is so cute. I keep my jewelry in here. I, I kind of needed both of them, but I don't need another one this size at all. Like these are literally twins. I don't need any more of those. Small other goods. I'm gonna try to stay away from you this year and I'm gonna focus on if I want a handbag, I'm going to buy a handbag, not a small leather good. Oh. Next are holiday gift sets. And I will say, I get suckered into these holiday gift sets uh, like almost every single year, except last year. In 2023, I actually held my ground and did not get suckered into these. Once you buy one, you do not need another one. You definitely don't need a third or a fourth. Like literally, this one I haven't even opened. I think I just bought it because I was like, Oh, the scarcity of it, I, the, you know, they're not gonna have it. I, I need it, I need it in my life. Like, do I need it in my life? I just feel like gift sets, sometimes they're a good deal, but a lot of the times you don't even need the products inside of the gift set. You know, I bought these because I was pressured into the idea that they're limited edition, that they're not gonna have any more. They kept selling out and then I kept checking the website. I was like, oh my gosh, it's available. Purchase, 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 like purchase all of these. And I feel like I just got sucked into that. So in 2024, I'm not gonna buy gift sets. I don't need any. I already have small little pouches in bags. I don't need another one. And these are cute. I will say these are cute. They would probably make a good gift, but I'm not gonna buy any more for myself. Next item is designer jewelry. And I don't have a lot of designer jewelry. I started off with buying the Justin Kloof uh, ring here from Cartier because I saw it on other people and I was like, wow, I really like that ring. It's really cool. And then after I bought it, I was like, wow, like everybody has this ring. It's not unique. When I wear it, I don't feel like I'm gonna get tons of compliments on like, ooh, what a beautiful, unique, interesting, one-of-a-kind ring. No, like everybody has this ring. A bunch of people have the ring, the bracelets, the love bracelets, the love rings. I feel like if I'm going to put my money into a piece of jewelry, I want it to be a little unique. I want it to be different. I don't want everybody to have it. And it's probably not gonna be as expensive as a designer jewelry piece. I paid several hundred dollars over because of the name. If I would have got this gold ring at a, one of my favorite jewelry sh shops online is Missouri. And if I would have got this gold ring at Missouri, it would have been probably half the price of what I actually paid for because I paid for the name. And it wasn't, I don't know, I just, I feel like it's not unique, it's not special. It, it's cool, it's interesting looking, but I just, I just think in 2024, if I'm gonna buy something, I'm gonna focus on uniqueness, something that's perfect to my personality and something that will, yeah, nobody else will have. Next item I will not be purchasing in 2024 is designer makeup and more specifically designer lipsticks. They're beautiful, the packaging is so great. I love it, it's elegant, it looks great inside my handbag. But I will say that designer lipstick, designer makeup always falls short. The lipstick doesn't last long enough. Most of the time it dries out, it dries my lips out. It's just not as good if I, it's not as good as if I were to buy a lipstick product from a lipstick makeup brand that just focuses on lipstick, skincare, blush, you know, whatever, makeup. Though the packaging is so beautiful, 
you're really just paying for the Chanel name or the Tom Ford name or I forget what lipstick this one is but it is so beautiful the way it opens and it's got like a little charm here that is just gorgeous but I remember this was really expensive this was over a hundred dollars for this lipstick and I think I've used it once or twice it's just not I mean it's okay it's just not I don't know, I don't think I need to be spending my money on designer makeup. And not to mention that it's almost always double the price of regular, regular makeup. There are always exceptions to the rules. And I will say, look, I literally have five of these. This Chanel lip product is, it's a, it's a lipstick here and you put it on and you wait 60 seconds and it dries. And then on the other side, there's a lip gloss. I will say this is one of my absolute favorite lip products. I, I know I have more of these two somewhere around my house. This is the only designer lip product that I have found that actually works and that I absolutely love. Okay, moving on to the next item, some everyday items that I need to just stop. It's just, I have a problem, I have an obsession water bottles. This is three water bottles that I have right now just to show you, but I literally have probably like 10 water bottles and I do not need another one. I do not need a new Stanley limited edition color. I do have one Stanley. I don't even know where it is. It's like a light blue Stanley. I, I know they just came out with a really pretty hot pink ones, but I do not need it. I do not need any more water bottles. Water bottles are not something I am buying in 2024. Next, anything that is not on sale. Like literally there are so many sales. There's a sale for every single holiday. There's a sale for it being summertime, springtime, winter sale. You know, oh, just throwing a sale because we just feel like throwing a sale. Anything that I want to buy is literally always on sale. So I am not in 2024 going to buy anything that is full price. And if I really, really want it, I'm just gonna put it in my cart. I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna be patient and I'm gonna get that item on sale. Next thing I am not spending money on this year are books. I am using the library. I have rediscovered my love for the library. I would say since last year when I stopped hanging out with all my friends, I stopped doing YouTube, I stopped doing everything. I started reading so much and at the beginning I was paying for every single book that I bought, every, any, every single physical copy book. Sometimes I would get the physical copy and then also buy the audio version and it was just really adding up and I thought, gosh, there's there's gotta be another way. Like I, I can buy some books, but some books I would like to just check out. This is my book that I'm gonna start reading for book club. Oh yeah, I've joined several book clubs, so much fun. Gives me something to do, met a lot of new people. Uh, but yeah, I have been checking books out. I have been also using the Libby app, which is connected to the library for audiobooks, And then you can also get the electronic version, like a Kindle version of the books from the library. I've rediscovered that and that is going forward 2024. That's where I'm going to be at. Next on the list is fast food. And this should just be a given, like I should have given this up so long ago, but I particularly feel now going into 24, 2024 that fast food is just not worth it. It's not healthy for you. It is so expensive now. It is not what it used to be. It is so expensive. And the quality of the food, in my opinion, has definitely gone down. Like 100%, it has gone down. So for me, I'm gonna try my absolute hardest to not go through the drive-thru and get fast food anymore. Moving down the list is fad skincare. I am not going to go be tempted by the latest and greatest, you know, papaya jelly cream that you can eat and you can also rub on your face. I know what works on my skin, I know what doesn't. When I go to Sephora and I need to restock up on like eye makeup remover or moisture, moisturizer, I'm not going to be tempted by the latest and greatest. It's just, it. Oh, I feel like for me, it always falls short or it's a waste of money and I, I know it works. I know it works on me. I'm gonna stick to it. I'm gonna stick to my budget. I'm gonna be, stay on track in 2024. Air fresheners, candles, oil diffusers, the little things that you plug into the wall. Nope, not gonna do it. I, with the exception of maybe a candle every once in a while, but I used to buy so many of those Bath & Body like plug-in wall 
air fresheners and I literally had one in every single room. I was always at Bath and Body getting the refills. They were always leaking or something was going wrong or I'm like, wow, I just spent like 40 bucks on air fresheners and I don't even smell anything. Like, do you smell it? Is it working? I just, I'm just not gonna do it. I'm just gonna walk into my house now and I'm gonna let it smell how it smells. That's it. I do believe in essential oils, but I more for me, if I get an essential oil, I like to rub it on like my cuticles or my skin, dry skin. I don't need to diffuse it in my house. So not gonna be doing that this year. Next is I'm not going to be paying for movies. With the exception, there's always an exception, of potentially going to the movie theaters every once in a while if there's a really good movie that has come out. But if there's a movie that I missed at the movie theaters, I'm not going to purchase it, I'm not going to rent it, I'm gonna wait till it comes to one of the streaming services because all movies, I feel like, eventually come to a streaming service. If I'm just patient, I don't need to spend the extra money to purchase the movie. It will eventually come to me. Bonus thing that I already did actually in 2023, Bart and I, we went through all of our subscription services, everything that we pay for, you know, the Wall Street Journal, the, uh, my husband Bloomberg, all our streaming services, all of our newspaper, magazine services, our cable. We went through everything and we eliminated the stuff that's redundant, things that we don't need. We got rid of the paper version and just pay for the digital version now that is a lot less. I physically called my cable company, was on the phone for like over an hour and got my cable bill reduced by like $40 going into 2024. I was just like, what? how long was I paying that additional money? Which. I didn't need, at the end of the day, when Bart and I canceled a bunch of stuff and consolidated a bunch of stuff, we ended up saving like over $200 a month. It adds up, I, I just couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, like I'm so proud of us. I can't believe we did this. And like, yes, we're gonna start 2024 off like on a really good financial note. So those are the things in 2024 that I am going to try to resist not to buy. I do not need it water bottles as always thank you guys so much for watching the video i wish you guys a beautiful happy healthy 2024 let's all have one this is our year bye <laughs> we've got so much yard don't eat the grass don't eat the grass bubsy i love you